Job 9, 5 through 7. He uprooted mountains, which is referring to God and his power, and they are unaware when he overturns them in his rage. You know, the Bible talks about how our faith is strong enough to move mountains if it's in him and it's his will. God can do all things. Uproot mountains, nothing to him. He's put it in place. Verse 6. He shakes the earth out of its place. So, that is foundation, pillar, strutter. Okay, this is and kind of talking about an earthquake here, but something a little more. Uh, it doesn't take much for the ground to split. Oftentimes, the ground can go up and cause a mountain. And they say most times valleys and mountains were caused because of fault lines moving, earthquakes, is what they say. Well, this is what it's talking about here. God has the control to do this. Pillars, strutter. Talking about the pillars for the foundation of it, who shook them. This is referring probably to some instance, maybe based on the time of Job, maybe referring to the flood, maybe metaphoric. Where he's talking about how the world was destroyed, which would have caused a change. You went from Millions of people down to eight. In verse seven, he commands the sun to go down and not rise. He sequesters, sequesters the stars so they do not shine. Okay, what Job is actually referring to? Is it? From the, I don't know. This stuff hasn't happened. God allows the sun to rise. There's a point in the Bible where God let the sun stay still. But Job's in a state of depression. He may be asking for 